pounds on wheels, wheels on wheels, barbecue pits on lawn tractors. Don't miss this episode of Lifestyles of the Rednecks and Limits. Be part of the Redneck Luxury Pool Party. Come along for the ride, as I, Robin Leach, take you on a fantastic tour of luxury homes, fortune and yachting through bios and swamps, and redneck romance. Deep in the heart of Texas we join Mr. Fry, direct from his high-rise villa in Bucktussle, Texas. We join this man who is valet to the original arbiter of all things funky, Pop Daddy, to the fabulous Pitmaster T, from high-tech mobile bag phones from Pop Daddy's Stretch DeLorean. Here he is, assisted by his Betty of Beauties, Mr. Fry! out of your pit without getting dirty. Hey, you don't need no recruitments, man. We're talking about Pitmaster T's butt paddle. That'll even make you Pitmaster T's butt. Is that what it says here? Oh, you're going to have to explain that to me. Pop Daddy butt paddle. Oh, I get it. So you're probably saying, hey, I need me my tools to get in there. I need me my glove. I need me my hook. <laughs> I'm a little saucy man with curly hair. I'm Freddie Mercury in a lunatard. <laughs> I need my little fanny pack of recruitments because I'm a temptress from Cosby. Well, Pitmaster T, I'm going to tell you, he may be crazy, but he's going to show you how to get that barbecue out of that pit without getting dirty. Oh, here it comes. Funk Masters of America present. Boy, these cards are fast. Pitmaster T's butt paddle. Here we go. Now, y'all pay attention, okay? There it is. Pop Daddy butt paddle. Well, I can see by the old dial that I'm running out of steam. And I'm running out of steam. Many of you find yourself in this situation in the evenings. And now comes the hard part, getting those suckers out of there. But I'm going to show you how to stay clean. This is a pizza paddle. It needs to be steel. They have them that are wood. You can buy one of these, and you can also buy them in that long and about half as long. Uh, but I like it because I can really control what I'm doing here. And uh, later on, I'll show you how to just shift bead around. But this also allows me to just open one side of the doors instead of having to do both sides. And I can reach, reach all, all the way to the other side. So let's see how it's going. Cleaned all that out real quick. Ooh. Oh no. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. And I want to show you that's as dirty as I got. And that's just from shifting the butts around to get them all in the in the containers. All right. Now I, I want you to think just a second before you before you grab and shift something from a hot spot to a cool spot. What you got to do? First thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put on whatever gloves or or towel or whatever you're gonna use to grab that there butt. Then you're gonna have to open the door. 
Then you're going to have to grab the butt. Then you're going to get your handle all greasy. Then you're going to put it in a pan. And the pan's going to get dirty. Then you shift your pan to where you want to put it. Then you open up the door and you get that all greasy. Before you know it, you got a big dang mess. Now you just watch here what my old buddy Pitmaster T does. Look at him. <laughs> he's going to get that thing. He's going to get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, he got it. <laughs> oh, I got stupid. Up. Don't leave nothing on the grate. <laughs> oh, there he goes. And boy, well, if you talk about flipping, you're going to be talking about real easy job. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Go oh, scoop it up. Scoop it up. Scoop. <laughs> but you're going to scoop it on up in there. Scoop it up. Scoop. <laughs> Look at that button. <laughs> Pitmaster T, he done thought about this, this paddle thing here. And uh, as you see, you get that thing out there. Oh, but it in there. You don't leave nothing on that right there.